And we are recording. Hello, everybody. Okay, so today is the second uh, class of week eight. Uh, and we are dealing with the three-way switch still. Uh, yesterday, we took a look at, we analyzed some scenarios uh, on how to apply the power uh, and how to connect the devices in a three-way switch configuration. Three-way switch is most commonly used in the basement light, uh, or there could be other applications as well. Basically, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's when you want to operate one uh, light with two switches and uh, operate the, that light from those two switches independently, okay? So, today we're going to analyze certain situation. The first situation that we, uh, that we, that we uh, analyzed yesterday, uh, and that's when we have... Um, Okay, let's see here. That's where we have a switch, three-way switch here. And then we have a three-way switch here. Let's have that one go this way. And then we have three-way switch here. And then we have a light bulb with terminals. Can we see things? Yes, we can. Um, and we're going to have power supplied to the first box. And the reason why I'm analyzing this particular connection is uh, it's, it's probably because this is the most uh, visually explainable. Uh, and anything goes, uh, any other arrangement is basically a variation of that. But this is most uh, visually clear to explain. Right. So um, when we uh, remember when we talked about three-way switches, the way they are arranged, uh, this would be common, 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 can we see? All right, and there would be traveler, traveler, and a traveler, and a traveler, and that's basically what it looks like right here. Get some focus going. All right, so here, is, here are the two travelers. These are these two guys right here, one and two. And here is the common. Also, uh, if you look at the most of the switches that are sold on the market, they will be labeled. This there will be a label actually says common here. So it's a three-way switch. How can you tell it's a three-way switch? Well, there are three ways to get into that switch. One, two, and three. Yeah. Three-way switch. And the way it operates is like uh, like this here. There's a pole here that goes between those two travelers. And there's another pole here that you can connect that here or here or here or here. Same thing here. You can connect it this way or that way, this way or that way. Okay. Not a big philosophy so far. All right, so <clears throat> when we talk about connecting these, uh, remember the scheme that we're looking at first, connect the travelers. So I just put travelers here. So let's connect the travelers. Again, now it says common to load. Okay, let's go, let's get common to load. And uh, um, load to neutral, All right? So the other side of the load is going to go right there. It's going to bypass everything, and it's going to be connected to neutral. All right. And then you're going to go hot to common, to the other side of the common, so this will be a hot wire that's going to be connected to the, um, to the common side of, this, uh, of the first switch. Can you have three ways dimmer switches? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen those, but I suppose there would be. Okay. Um, but that's a good question. All right, so now let's look at the boxes. Yeah. This would be our boxes. And there will be another box here. Okay. All right, so. The boxes are 
like that. So here will be the first box with the power supply from here. And then there will be these two traveler wires and the neutral between these two boxes right here. So that's this, uh, that's this conduit right here. Then there's a second box. Here's the second box. And uh, over here we have another octagon box. And that here, right here. And that's where the lamp holder is going to be connected with a light bulb N. And then we're going to put those switches here. I'm going to make this thing operate. All right, let's uh, uh, let's start. But before we start, we need to analyze uh, what kind of wires go where. All right. So first, um, well, the first thing that would be done on the construction site would be assembling assembling the raceway. All right. So we're going to assemble that first. And the second step would be analyzing. Well. Analyzing first, you need to analyze how many wires uh, you need, and then based on that, you build the raceway to accommodate the wires. So let's just analyze how many wires do we need. Uh, okay, so the first box we're going to have the power supply that goes into that box. Then uh, we're going to have two travelers and one neutral going between these two boxes. Right here, between these two boxes, we're going to have two travelers and one neutral. All right. So we're going to, uh, the neutral is going to be white. And travelers, we can just go maybe red and blue, just uh, just for the sake of, uh, of clarity. And then we're going to have two wires just going between these two boxes. Uh, and that will be neutral, uh, white, and black. Okay, so uh, over here, we can just go, let's say red, blue, and white. Okay, now, uh, in this box, we're going to have a wire nut connection. We're going to make a pigtail. Okay, because we're going to uh, just interrupt that wire here. And in this box, the neutral is also going to be interrupted by installing a wire nut on it. All right. Uh, now, can you pull the wire straight through to the last box and connect it straight to the light bulb? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, you will be doing that. But, uh, but in, in, in some other cases, you're going to just uh, concentrate on pulling the wires, labeling the wires accordingly. And then, so you can do it this way or you can do it the other way. I'm going to show you um, uh, using this uh, wire now because uh, also what I want to uh, stress out in this, uh, in this class is uh, something that I call wiring hygiene, uh, which is basically dressing up the wires nice and proper. So, uh, so it, that it looks like somebody you know, it looks like somebody did a professional job instead of just hacking things and then cramming this thing in the box. That's not good. One thing you're going to have to ask yourself when you when you when you connect things and present things uh, is is that if you were the client and somebody did this for you, would you pay money for that? Okay. That's a good question to ask yourself. All right, uh, so let's pull some wires. Uh, or first, we're going to assemble the raceway, okay? So let's just uh, keep going with this. Now, we have a box here with the knockouts still in place. So we're just going to knock them out. And I'm going to use my needle nose pliers. I'm gonna have to work, work with this focusing of this camera here, all right. Not knock the knockout. Okay. Yeah. Remove the knockout. Then on the other side, it's of course we're going to have not the knockout and remove uh, here. All right. So that is done. And on one side, we're going to supply the power and we're going to supply this with the NMD90 cable. Uh, so we're going to install the half inch, because these are the half inch knockouts. We're going to install a half inch uh, compression clamp, kind of a connector here, all right? That's the one that we're going to use, all right? And it does have a lock 
nut. So we're going to remove that. Install the install the connector right into that knockout hole. Remember, this uh, this uh, set screws they have to be accessible. So when you put that thing on something, the screws have to be accessible. So please don't install it that way because you won't be able to get at the screws. Right? Install it properly. All right, and then I'm just going to like to work with the camera angles. Alright. Yeah. Going to install the wire nut, uh, not wire nut, the lock nut. Work with my left hand here. This is my left hand, this is my right hand. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure that I can tighten this uh, lock nut so nothing is, okay, so nothing is, um, nothing is loose and I'm going to use my uh, slotted screwdriver just to Point it in the groove and then just make sure that things are tight. So we have one side of this uh, box um, prepared. Then we have to, we're going to install a half inch uh, EMT, electric metallic tubing, but we can just put that in a hole like that. Uh, we have to install another connector that is going to uh, accommodate the half inch conduit, okay? So, and it goes. Let's get the uh, let's get the lock nut. You see, this is uh, this is unidirectional uh, lock nut. You see, it has a flat side on one side, and the other side is shaped in a way that it, that do these uh, these grooves here they're going to grab onto the metal. Right. So, so the way you are installing this one is you're going to put that, and again the set screw has to be on top, so it has to be accessible. Uh, I'm going to install this lock nut so it points with the sharp edges towards the box, not that way, but this way here. Okay, so. Make sure that you see what I'm doing here. Yeah? Uh, there. Let me just do this here. I'll just start this thing up. Okay. Now we're going to make sure that everything is directed, positioned properly. Yeah, the boring is important. Somebody's uh, is that is saying uh, Jonathan is saying make sure you debore the EMT. That's good. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just going to tighten this one here. All right, nice and tight. So that's uh, uh, what Jonathan is saying that we have to make sure that we debore this side. Um, we debore. Once we cut the pipe, we have to deburr. And this one does have some burrs here. So we're going to deburr. There is a, um, there's a deburring tool, but what I'm going to uh, get for that, thank you for reminding me that, just give me a second here. I'm going to get my file. Headphones, my microphone. All right, so I'm just going to get my file and make sure I'm going to debore. 
these inside edges right here. And where are we? Uh, there we are, okay. Oh, we need a bigger file here. So sometimes you just chamfer and deburr. De chamfer here, that way. And then deburr from the inside, just to make sure there's no sharp edges here. So I'm going to do one side, then I'm going to do the other side. Over the file, and then check it from the outside as well. So that's one. Can I can uh, conduit? There's the other one, just like that. And then deburr. There are some deburring tools that you can actually install on the drill, and then just put it inside, press the trigger, and this thing does it uh, automatically, for, like quickly. Okay. And deburr the inside, so there's no sharp edges here inside the conduit, okay? Cool. Uh, all right, so now we have uh, Yeah, Mr. Crouch says that you should be able to put your finger in there and and twist comfortably and with and not get hurt. Okay, see, here's my finger, and I'm not getting hurt. Ouch! No, just kidding. All right. Uh, okay, so now here's the one box. Here's the other box. So that that uh, EMT is going in there. So I'm going to install the connector quickly. Yeah, just like the other ones. There you go. There's the other one. Goes in here. Lock nut goes on. That's nice and tight. And then you can make sure that things are tight on the other side as well. We got two boxes, and now we have the octagon box as well. Now we're going to have the second pipe going in, and we're going to have to find the knockout. So again, let's just take this one and remove this thing. What goes in there? There's another half inch EMT goes in there. So we're just going to install another connector. Just like pulling Lego, but for grown-ups. goes in here. Yeah. Okay, so we have one box prepared, the other box prepared, and we can assemble the racer. Of course, uh, in, uh, in reality, you're going to have those conduits going all the way somewhere in the ceiling, maybe in the in the walls, but uh, we're just doing a simple exercise to visualize that. Um, all right, so now make sure the set screws are not tight yet. So we're just going to assemble that pipe, assemble that, and we're going to use a Red Robertson screwdriver, Robertson number two, or Red Robertson, which is a square to tighten the 
tighten the set screws. And we tie it. How tight do we tie? We tie it with a feel, just so this thing is nicely positioned. So now this thing is sitting here nicely. All right. Don't kill it though, guys. All right. So here comes the here comes the other. We'll do it with a feeling. All right. So here we have this part of raceway. Now we're going to assemble the last stretch of the run. This set screw is set, and here's the last part of it. And we have our raceway prepared. Now in class, uh, for, um, the next lab you're going to do, you're going to do a box offset because you see here, uh, those uh, th that, that, that knockout is not flush with the bottom of the box. So that means we won't be able to put this pipe right against well against the wall, and we have a little bit of a uh, gap going in there. But this is, uh, we're not doing this thing now. You're going to, uh, you're going to create a box offset with a three feet pipe that actually accommodates the, uh, the, the rise, the, the rise of the knockout, and that conduit is going to go right against the surface, and it's going to rise again uh, to accommodate the, um, the difference in distance from the from the wall you yeah, see that uh, okay so now what do we have here we have assembled this so here's this box right here that's the box here's another box that's this box and here's going to be a lamp holder that this device box octagon box is going to accommodate that and that's where the uh, that's where the lamp holder is going and over here two three-way switches are going to go in and we're going to power this thing up and see if we can make the light bulb go on okay. all right so you just yeah here's the first one now let's just uh, so now we're going to start pulling wire so first we're going to get uh, well we can go from either ways uh, let's just get the wires in. So I'm going to uh, prepare the uh, NMD90 cable first. Um, and I do have it here. Just waiting for me. Okay. Here it is the cable. So I'm just going to strip it. It's not connected on the other side. All right. Yeah. Come on. There. Remember how we were stripping that? I just got this much of the cable here. Now I'm going to make a little notch with my side cutters just right here. Just like that. Just to start. The insulation stripping, and I'm going to use my uh, bonding wire as a rip cord. Okay. Yeah. I just ripped it about this much. I'm going to peel off the insulation and rip it a bit more. Okay. Peel off the insulation, and remember wiring hygiene cut the fluff. There's nothing going on there. Now I'm going to insert that right into the first box. And remember, when we're setting the screws, we want to see a little bit of jacketing poking through. Don't go, like, don't go like that because it's going to make things difficult for you. Don't go like this because we don't know what's pinched and what's not. I want to see a little bit of jacketing just poking out. And I'm going to use my screwdriver. Where's my screwdriver? 
There it is. To set the set screws, to tighten the set screws right here. These guys right here. One. Nice and tight, but don't kill it. Okay. Can't position that here now. There you go. Nice and tight, but not killed. And there's a bit of a jacketing poking through. And now we're just going to put those wires aside. Okay, so this part is done. Then what do we need? We need three wires to go between these two boxes and we decided them to be red, blue and white. So I'm just going to cut myself red, blue and white. Yeah. Let's see how much do we need for that. Microphone wire. About this much should do. Okay, simple. We're just going to pull them right through. Now, when you have a longer pipe, you're going to have to remember when. Uh, Actually, I'm going to show you in the next term when we do the with the network cabling how to prepare the proper um, uh, proper head end here in order to pull the wires to do the longer pulls. And of course, those wires in reality they will be labeled with the wraparound labels numbers, and you're going to make notes on what is pulled and where. Okay, uh, so we're just going to. Pull those in, pull those in. Okay. Now we're just going to set them aside, okay. just like that. Okay. We have enough slack here, we have enough slack, more than enough slack here. And then, so these, uh, we got this far here. What's next? We need to pull two wires between this box and the last box, the second last box and the last box. So, uh, and we decided to do white and black. My marker here. So this one is going to be white. And this one here is going to be black okay right. black for hot white for neutral let's keep the color code going so let's just cut a little bit here white and black white neutral black for hot About this much. I'm gonna cut more than I need here. Oh, I'm getting wires all over the place. Okay, switch the camera views, shift the equipment just a tiny bit, just so we can we can see things. All right, so the next pulling wire pulling stage is we're going to put these here. Okay about this much, and we're gonna set them aside. Right. So now we have this whole thing. I was all, I was always tough, use red. Thought it was red in that instance. Um, you can use red, but black is okay because it's gonna be switched hot. 
Yes, you can use red. Uh, as long as the white is neutral, neutral is white. And if you need to pull ground, yes, you can put the ground in uh, as you know, green jacketing or bare copper. I'm pretty sure it's not white, green, bare is fine. Well, in this uh, in this case, when we don't need to pull any ground wire because the ground bonding is going to be connected to the first box, and because it's a metallic tubing then we just need to connect the bonding right to the first box and that because it's metal that ground or bond is going to be carried through the metal here and how the switch is going to be grounded is through this chassis once it is mounted and touching this uh, this box okay so that's uh, that's uh, you know i heard that in states you still have to pull the ground wire anyway in canada we don't uh, but you have to basically review the uh, electrical code that applies to the area that you're working with in okay uh, all right <clears throat> now let's start doing the connections so first thing I'm gonna do going from this side here I'm going to connect the bonding wire the bonding wire right to the box here just to get this get this thing over with. Now, wiring hygiene. How the focus or not? Here. Now, see we have the bonding screw, right? I where the wire, uh, where the cables are entering the box. Please do not do this. Just uh, don't do this so you can connect this thing right here. Have some slack. So go a little bit past that and then you can just do one straight wire here or you can make a hook. I'm just going to make one straight wire. So I'm just going to connect that, cut that. And I'm going to insert that wire right in the groove here, so nice and straight, in a way that the screw grabs it. So it has to go from this side, not from that side. Okay, it has to go from this side here. Let me just put that in here. I'm going to get a slotted screwdriver for this one here. Tighten this. It's fighting me. Let's see if Red Robbie is work, works on this one here. Okay, Red Robbie works. Sometimes they have funny, funny ways of finishing those screws. Okay, so here. See, now it's sliding. Do I have the bigger one? Yes, I do. Okay, just gonna get a slotted screwdriver that's bigger. Yeah, just tighten this. Nice and tight, okay. And I'm going to dress it, dress it up a little bit, just to make sure that this bonding wire is not flying all over the place, uh, but nicely is just tucked away at the bottom of the box. Okay, so that is done. Then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the with the white wire because it has to continue. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring them to, to one side. to one side I'm going to kind of do the first fitting all right so those are going to go right to the back and it would be a good idea if I just cut it right here and strip it and put the wire nut on all right so I'm just going to cut it right here Wire strippers. Okay. Strip, strip. This much here. Right. 
strip the other one. Put them together. Remember how we were making pigtails? Get those jockey things together. Okay. Put one on top of the other, shift it with an angle, then the other one here. And then you can do it by hand if you can, or sometimes when, the, when they are too short, so your fingers don't hurt, I'm just gonna bring them a little bit closer together. And I'm going to use my line and pliers just to uh, help myself with twisting those pre-twisting those wires here. All right, uh, nicely pre-twisted. And then I'm going to make sure I have a nice straight cut here. Nice straight tip. And I'm going to get my wire knot, put it on. Okay. Nicely done. Nothing sticks out from it. There's no copper. And then because we have pre-arranged them before, they're going to, this one's going to be tucked away nicely at the back. So there's no mess in the box. When you're doing wiring, you have to make sure that you are in control of the wires. The wires don't control you. Okay. Now, might as well continue with the white wire. In the second box, I'm just going to repeat the action. Here's the other box. We'll do the same thing. I'm going to bring them to, let's say we can just bring it to the other side here. Bring both wires to one side. And let's say we're going to put them somewhere here. That should, that should do it. That should do this here. So the, the wires are nice and easy in the box. So I'm going to cut them somewhere here. Others. Okay. Strip them. solid 14 solid okay and this one also gets 14 solid same thing again we're going to make a pigtail again put one on top swing it out swing out the same angle start twisting do this one by hand and I'm going to help myself with the lineman pliers because if you have to do a lot of them you can actually get your fingers hurt nice twist at the tip because you see here see maybe i can do this uh, the wrong way so the one is longer than the other see that i'm going to put the wire nut on Well, this one didn't puncture, but usually, sometimes you would. There's a danger that this thing would, would be punctured. Um, well, I was trying to do it the wrong way, so we punctured that thing through, but it didn't. Well, I guess if you do this thing so many things, so many times that you can do it right, you can't go, can do it wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to trim, trim the tip, just so we have a nice and straight tip, so the wire nut can grab things nice and evenly. Put the wire knot on, and because we have pre-dressed those wires before, those are going to fall into the box, nice and beautiful. Okay, there we go. All right, we are in control of the wires here. Good. So now we're gonna leave for now, we're gonna leave the lamp holder for now. Okay. We're going to go and start mounting the first switch. This is what you'll be doing. All right, I'm going to mount the first switch. 
Things are falling. That was my marker. All right, it's going to go like this. Where do we have our uh, travelers and commons? All right, so in this case, we're going to have those travelers. There's one here. There's one here, there's one here, and there's the uh, common. So let's just go back to our drawing board here. This is the first switch we're mounting. The travelers, which are red and blue. Uh, and then the common is going to go to hot. Okay, so that's, that's what we're doing here. That's the box. And again, we're going to prearrange those wires. So let's say, Excuse me. I'm going to prearrange this wire so it goes this way. So here's the hot. Nice and beautiful. So wires do not trip over each other. They don't put any pressure on each other. So this should uh, this should do me here. Okay, as far as the um, as the hot wire. So I'm just going to cut it. Make a candy cane. Cut it. Strip it, 14 solid, make a candy cane, connect that right here, okay. No, this one doesn't want to uh, use the, uh, we can't use that little uh, stopper here to pry it. So I'm just going to help myself with the slotted screwdriver and just close the loop a little bit here. Okay. And then, uh, what is it? We're going to use the green Robertson here to tighten this. Remember, I'm pushing it a little bit out of the way and pulling that way with my thumb. So when the screw grabs it, screw terminal grabs it, it's going to position it in to place. Okay. Now we have this connection done. So now we have to do the red and blue. I'm just going to make sure this is the way we want it to go. The wire, this wire is going to be nicely and easily inserted in the box, see, I don't have to put any pressure when I'm, when I'm putting this thing in here. It's going to just go right in nicely, okay? So now we have to connect the travelers. Um, so these are these two guys right here. And these are the red and blue. The polarity doesn't matter because they will never make contact with the other ones. So, um, I'll make sure we have wires that are long enough. So how can we do this? We'll do one by one. All right, All right. where are we? There we are. Let's go and connect. Press this thing up nicely. They're getting in my way and the wires from the other box are kind of interfering here. So let's put them away. All right. Predetermine the length first by making things nice and easy for ourselves. I'm just going to do it like this. So in this way I have a wire that is long enough here, it has to be six inches. And then that's, that's, that's going to be actually good. All right, so cut it here. Strip. Working solid. Make a candy cane. All right. Might as well do the other one as well. So we could just because they're right beside each other, so we can use the same length. About here. Add it. Strip. Fourteen solid. Yeah. And the cane. Yeah. And now we can just connect those. So let's 
put the red one out of the way. Okay. Tighten this thing up. All right. Okay, this one is done. Then we can connect the red one as well. In place here. Trying to rush this thing because the class is coming to an end. Ah, oh, we still got 15 minutes. All right. From here. Tighten this thing up. And we're going to just make sure things fit nice and easy. We can put those this one this way here. This one the other way. Just cross them. Uh, and now when I put that in, the wires are not going to fight us. Okay. So this one is kind of pre-wired here. We're doing, going to do the same thing with the other switch. There's the box. Again, where's my other switch? There it is. Okay. Again, predetermine the length. Uh, I'm going to put this thing this way here. Predetermine the length. And that's what I want here. Cut, strip, 14 solid, make a candy cane. Um, then, let's see here. We're going to go this way and that way. So here, these two. I'm just running, I'm just gonna run them this way here and here, and that's how they're going to come up. This one is going to go this way and it's going to accommodate the, the, the hat. And these two travelers are going to go back that way there and I'm going to cut them here. So I might as well do that, 14 solid here, do the other one. Like the candy canes, one, two, put them into the screw terminals. Almost done, guys, we're almost there. So let's just, uh, um, yeah. we can start with the common, put that in. Well then, where's my red, green lobby? Right here. Okay. One, that's how it's going to go. Now the two travelers. I'm always trying to make sure, I'm always trying to, I'm always making sure that we are in control. Okay. We're in control of the wiring and the wires are not controlling us. And the cane has to go this way. Put that in. Close the loop just a bit so we have that comfort of the loop being closed. Push it away, press it. Connect here. Then here's the other wire that goes in here. Yeah. Okay. 
push it that way, screw it in. Okay, so now the wires should be arranged in such way that they're not going to fight us. They're not going to fight us. We put the device in the box. Okay. Here, here, here. We predetermined the length. Now we can just whoop, running away from the screen here. See the wires are nicely, nicely in there. Nothing is fighting anything. So we have two switches. Now let's connect the lamp holder. And the lamp holder is going to be connected. Yeah, we got the white and black this time here. Okay, so we need about six inches here, so that's going to be easy. Yeah, cut it, strip it. Yeah. Look at the candy canes here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the lamp holder, you can see the silver, silver screw and the brass screws. The silver screw is the neutral and it connects to the thread. Okay. And then the brass screw is brass. That's where the black goes and connects to the hot terminal of the lamp holder. Okay, so that should be easy enough. Um, brass. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Okay. Now this one here is, you know, normally I would not use that. I would just throw it out because this connector seems to be suffering a little bit. But this is the only thing that I have that I brought in from school. I'm off site right now. So I'm just going to show this, how to show you how to use this anyway on this thing because that's the only thing that I have. Um, yeah, we can do it this way. Okay, put that candy cane in. All right, oh, I don't like the way it's connected. There's too much copper sticking out. See the candy cane kind of, it's in a way that came out, I didn't like it. So I'm going to restrip it, redo the candy cane. Do it properly. How can we do this? We can do it this way here. Come on. Connector is fighting me. Screw it in. Okay, so now we have the lamp holder. Oh, the train. We have the lamp holder. We can arrange those wires here. It's going to undo the screws here. Come on, come on, come on going to insert that lamp holder, making sure the wires are not stressed. It goes this way here, this way. And it just turns that way here. Now this connector right here is damaged. So 
So normally, if I was installing this thing on the job site, I would not. Now, when you tighten this thing, do not tighten like crazy because that's what happens here. You're gonna damage this connector. It's plastic, okay? So tighten it just enough. So this one is done, okay? Tools, tools, tools. Put them away. Camera view, yeah. All right, now I'm going to screw these guys in. So the 632 screws, making sure that nothing, there's no wires that are stressed. Yeah. Come here. Usually would get a drill, electric screwdriver. Screw these guys in. We're just about to light it up. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one, here's the second one. Make sure the wires are not fighting us. If there's anything out of alignment, just, I call it sculpting. Just sculpt the wires nice and easy so there's no trouble inside the box. Come on, get in there, Mr. Screw. Develop tonight in my hand tonight. Okay. All right. All right. Getting them out of shape here. No, we're good. We're good. Here's one. So those switches are bonded right now because that part here is touching the chassis here and through the screw as well. Hey. Okay. So now we have one switch, another switch, and we have a 40 watt light bulb. We can just screw that in, see if we can plug things in. There we go. Here we can control the light bulb with this switch. We can control the light bulb with that switch. Okay, turn it on, turn it off. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Oh, okay, you get the idea, all right? Now, of course, the face plates will have to be applied um, to the front of those boxes. Just like that. And there's this set, those mounting screws right here. And of course, on the other one. And you can use this three-way switch system. So this would be at the bottom of the stairs. This would be at the top of the stairs. So if you had the light on in the basement and you walk all the way up the stairs and go, oh, I forgot to turn the light off. Oh, but there's another switch on the top of the stairs. I can turn it off. Okay. That was fun. Yeah, well, all my hands are getting a little bit tender right now because i was rushing through because you know what uh, we've got one minute to go <laughs> hopefully you don't have any tests or anything um, okay so that's going to be the last lab that you're going to do uh, now this is when the power is provided to the first box um, there are different arrangements you can have the power being provided to the light bulb to the lamp holder um, or you can have the power provided to any of the boxes. But if you apply this, uh, this uh, sequence here, connect the travelers, common to load, load to neutral, hot to common. In any of, if you rearrange those devices in any of those ways, if you apply this sequence here, you should have no problem connecting the three-way switch. All right. Um, that was the three-way switch connection. And I'm just going to hold the light bulb right here. So I could produce a little snapshot for the thumbnail for the YouTube video. Okay, that's enough. Okay, guys, uh, have a good weekend and uh, don't do anything you wouldn't write home about. 
and I'll see you when I see you. Thank you and goodbye.